everyone welcome back to the sql rapid question series by data monk so uh we are going to do our next question on the previous database that we had so uh let me just remind you we had a employee details table wherein we had employee id full name manager id and city and we had an employee salaries table wherein we had employee id project salary and incentive so moving on to our next question uh, we have to find we have to write a query to find name of employees who have ra in their names so we just need to find this ra string in the full name of our employees uh, just a simple query for that we'll write select full name as we are looking at in the full name category select full name from employee details from employee details okay now here we add the condition where full name like we'll use the like operator here what is a like operator like is a logical operator which checks if given character matches a specific pattern so you know it's like uh i have to find something like this in a given data so uh, i'll write like and how do we type this we'll write it in single inverted commas uh, we'll add a underscore then the string that we are looking for and then a percentage sound this is how you write the like clause and we'll just build this and i'll just run this for you You see, we got the name Pranav Singh. Why Pranav Singh? Because it has the string R A in its name, and that is what we are looking for, right? So here we have learned about the like operator, which is a logical operator, which checks if a given character or a given string follows a specific pattern. Okay. Now let's cover our next question also, which says display total salary of each employee. this is a pretty simple question all we need to do is select employer id because that is how we'll find the employee employer id what we'll do is we need to find total salary how we'll find total salary we'll add salary plus incentive now we'll write a temporary name for a column which is total salary okay uh this is basically this as is basically called a alias like you know like a pet name that a temporary name that you give to a particular column which we has given as total salary from employee salary table okay because all the salaries are in the employee salary table I'll copy this. Let's try running this. So you see, we have got the employer IDs with the total salaries that they have. Okay, so you can easily calculate the total salary of a given employee. This is it for the video. See you in the upcoming sessions.